Hello everybody and welcome back to a Monday edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. Coming on the channel today, we have my first look, even though it's been out for a little bit over a week now, week and a half about of 2021 Topps Series 2 Baseball. I got a hobby box in front of me. I have not found any retail yet. Of course, it also has not dropped on Target.com yet. Well, I am recording this uh, on Sunday, so perhaps it has dropped this morning uh, when I'm posting this on Monday, but at least as of Sunday, it has not dropped yet on Target.com, so I haven't got any. None of my Walmarts I've gone to, I have seen it. Haven't seen it at Walgreens either for those yellow exclusives. So the only Series 2 I have found is this hobby box, which came off Tops.com, I believe it was last Monday, so a week from today, for $80. And that is what we're gonna rip into here. I believe it is 24 packs with 14 cards per pack. We're looking for all the rookies like Jazz Chisholm, Key Brian Hayes is probably the biggest one, uh, Trevor Rogers, Jake Cronenworth, Alex Kriloff. There's a lot of solid rookies in here. And I think at the end of the day, Series 1, Ryan Mountcastle obviously had an amazing game on Saturday. Um, but Series 1 rookies have been relatively lackluster. Mountcastle has been solid. Uh, Dylan Carlson has been solid. A lot of the other guys, though, Pache, Adele's down the minors, Bart's down in the minors. Dahlbeck. They've been slight disappoint. Alec Boehm, been a slight disappointment so far. So hopefully we can see some big stuff out of Series 2. High expectations for Key Bryan. Jazz has been playing well. Trevor Rogers is looking like the NL Rookie of the Year. So that is it for Series 2. Um, before that, though, I just want to give a brief look at what I had over the weekend. So Friday, I uh, hope everyone else had a nice weekend. Friday, I was able to make my way to the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, the team you see on the um, mat in front of me. And I was able to get to my second game this year. It was New Hampshire versus Hartford. Of course, New Hampshire is the double A for the Blue Jays. So a lot of star prospects on that team, led by Austin Martin, who of course is the face of 2021 Bowman. So I was actually able, of course, protocols of Lucin, get a couple of my new 2021 Bowman cards. I now got them nice and autographed. So here's LA Harris Montero. He was on opposing Hartford. Didn't have the Chrome, but Jordan Groshans, uh, Simeon Woods Richardson, top under prospect, came over the Marcus Stroman trade. And this beauty here, I have defaced the first Bowman Chrome of Austin Martin because I was able to get him to sign it. So pretty sweet. Obviously, it's an in-person autograph, so it's not worth anything close to what his certified autographs are. But very nice to add to my collection a first Bowman Chrome autograph with an authentic Austin Martin on it. So very sweet there. All super nice guys. Hope they continue to do well. Three Blue Jays prospects, one Rockies prospect there in Montero. But enough about that. Let's move in to top series two. Let's get everything out here. Of course, we'll have our exclusive hobby silver pack with four of those 1986 cards in it in the mojo design, possible chance of autographs or hits. Of course, we will see one hit and I believe the chances to get parallels and gold cards and so on is better in series two. So let's pull all that here. Here's all our packs, 24 packs. Here are the odds, the hobby odds if you have not seen them yet. As you can see, gold cards are 1 in 14. That's like half down. I'm pretty sure in Series 1 they were 1 in 27, maybe 1 in 24. So we'll see at least one gold card. Probably a good chance we see two. A lot of people end with this. You know what? Let's, let's change things up. Let's start with the exclusive silver pack and see what we can get as our mojos instead of leaving the juice for the end. Christian Pache, Rickyard, like I said, he's been rather disappointing. We do have a blue. Maybe it's autographed. Very sweet, though. We did get a parallel. Mookie Betts on the LA Dodgers. He's had an okay year. Daryl Strawberry from those 1986 champion Mets. And our blue is a Yankee, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if Davey Garcia, Clark Schmidt could be rookie cards. It's Giancarlo, not autographed, but a pretty sweet blue. Got a home run challenge promo on the back there. Blue that is numbered 11 of 150. Pretty cool to always get a parallel in these Vogers. Nice 1986 design. I really like the retail exclusives, which is why I want to find a lot of retail of this, but I am a huge fan of the 1965 design, which is the retail exclusive 50 card set last time in series one. Of course, it was those 1952s, but um, oh, I love the 1965 design. Of course, it was 2014 Heritage, which also had Mookie and DeGrom's rookie card in it. Beautiful set. I mean, to put the refractor set, it would be very challenging, but I think I kind of want to do it. So let's get into this. We got small names back at it. Johan Oviedo rookie card. He had a good start last week against the Marlins. Justin Turner, Tim LaCastro, the Giants, Austin Nola, Mark Melanson, Sean Murphy, Michael Conforto. Here's our second rookie card, Jared Oliva. I'll try to be somewhat fast with the base here. You've probably all seen a lot of it. Here's a nice 1986 Jake Cronenworth rookie. Pretty good one there. 
Danny Jansen, Kyle Tucker, Jason Kipnis, and Ryan McBroom, former New Hampshire Fisher Cat there. So a couple rookies. Of course, like I said, Key Bryan, Cronenworth, Kriloff, um, Jazz are probably the big four. Uh, I like Trevor Rogers a lot, though. Of course, he's a pitcher, just like Shane McClanahan. Haseon Kim, uh, Johan Ramirez, Lewin Diaz, there's a Marlon, Jonathan Arauz, Probably a lot of people mispronouncing his name as Arouse. It is, in fact, Arauz. He's on my local Worcester Red Sox. Very nice there. Former Astros farmhand. Cedric Mullins, Bubba Starling, Kenley Jansen. There's a nice first rookie card. Jake Cronenworth. We'll put him in a separate pile because he is one of the bigger ones. Jose Berrios, AJ Puck, Wade Miley. Um, who's that? Matt Carpenter and Kyle Freeland. Very nice. Of course, one hit. Jake Cronenworth is off the board. As long as I get all the main rookies, I will be happy. Try to make my set of 330 cards. Keep it going here. We got Adbert Alzale, second year card. Luis Severino, Johnny VR, Shed Long, Carlos Santana, Yanni Chirinos, Daniel Norris, Randall Gritchick. Here's our first foil card. Put those there. Our first foil card is of the Houston Astros team card. We got Yuli dumping a bucket on someone there. It might be Bregman. Uh, Mark McGuire is our first insert of the AL All-Stars. Kurt Suzuki, Brad Keller, Randy Arozarena, and Michael Brantley. Keep it going here. We can show the back card. Not that big a uh, deal here. Julian Merriweather, Jerry, Julian Merriweather, Mickey Moniak rookie card, Dalton Jeffries. Mickey Moniak, one of four Phillies rookies on the check. Of course, the first overall pick in 2016. Trevor Bauer, Taylor Widener, rookie card. Clark Schmidt, rookie card, not a bad one. Of course, I don't believe he's been spent much time in the majors, if at all. Dom Smith, Jake Woodford, rookie card. Shane Bieber, there's a nice, this is a really nice one. So, of course, they have these seven years at tops. This is our second series. That's the 1989, I believe, of Tatis. Very nice, love the 89 cards. That's a really nice one. Glad to get Tatis. Of course, he's at 22 home runs at the time I'm recording this video. Second in the league to Vladdy with 23. Scotty Jetpacks is down on the line as Nick Ahmed, Steven Piscotti, and Steven Strasburg. Keep it going here. Flip it around. We got a Pirate rookie, Miguel Yajar, uh, Jose Marmaleos Diaz, former Harrisburg Sender, Luis Campusano, Paven Smith. He's actually playing decent. The Twins up the middle, flip it around for Mike Soroka, unfortunately out for the entire year. Zach Eflin's having a decent year. Christian Arroyo is hitting some clutch homers for the Red Sox. Tony Watts in the left reliever. Jose Abreu, last year's rookie of the Ardonis Medina, is our second Phillies rookie guard for the PC. Jeff McNeil, Jemai Jones, and Mike Moustak. There's no insert in that pack. I wonder if there was a short print or something. If there's a short print, I'll probably just throw it at the, the very end in case I miss it. Keep it going here. Luis Garcia is having a quietly solid season. Jordan Weems used to be a hitter for the Red Sox in their system. Ryan Jeffers, Shirt and Apostle. There's Rafael Marchan, just got recently called up again because Andrew Knapp went on the IL. Andy Diaz, Nick Castellanos. Here is our hit. So unfortunately, it is just going to be a relic, but it is a Ian Anderson. Uh, 70 years Major League material. So at least it's a rookie card, but unfortunately, we did not get an autograph this time around. That's kind of... The expectation, though, we did get an autograph for my Series 1 hobby when I got a uh, Davey Garcia. We got DJ LeMahieu, Alec Mills, Kendall Graveman, and Anthony DeSclafani. So I hit Ian Anderson actually in the Diamond Kings hobby box, I believe I reached, ripped last Thursday. I also got an Ian Anderson relic. That one was out of 50, though, and had a patch. We got Matt Foster, rookie card, JT Brubaker, Elvis Andrus, put him there. Zach McKinstry is a solid Dodger name. A little bit older, though. Jordan Hicks, Alex Colome, Adam Wainwright, New Darvish, Donovan Solano, Joey Bart, rookie card for our 1986. Add to our Cronenworth collection there. Brandon Lau, Ryan McMahon has 15 homers on the year. Tanner Roark and CJ Crone. A lot of packs today. Always fun to open a hobby box, especially for only $80. TJ Antone silently having a good year. Keegan Aiken, Jonathan Stever, Zach Birdie, Tucker Davidson. He left injured uh, with a Red Sox start last week. Cole Hamels has not pitched all this year. Brian Reynolds, Cole Calhoun. Flip it around for Robbie, um, Robbie Grossman, that is. And we got a first gold card. Flip this time around. Denilson Lamette out of 2021. Solid pitcher for the Padres. Not a rookie card, of course, though. Victor Robles, Lance McCullers, Billy Hamilton, and Austin Barnes. Keep it going here. We got Mark Mathias, former Akron Robert Duck. Chris Davis, Jojo Romero, ends out our Phillies rookie cards. Brent Rucker, Tanner Houck, he's rehabbing well. Love him for the Red Sox. 
Corey Seager, Gary Sanchez, Ender Inciarte, Didi Gregorius, nice Jacob deGrom, significant statistics, first time we've seen that insert. Mike Brousseau, Pablo Lopez, Josh Fleming, rookie card, and Ben Gamels. A lot of rookie cards, obviously 60 rookie cards on the checklist. I, I think it's a solid rookie card class, especially if it is uh, printed a lot less than Series 2. Granted, there's still the um, complete sets to go. We got the Reds, the Royals, Ozzy Albies, the Mets. Flip it around here. We got Jake Fraley, Carlos Carrasco. He hasn't played this year. Jose Martinez, he hasn't played this year. John Scope, Rowdy Telez. Our next AL All-Star is Pudge Rodriguez. Here we go with Andrew Miller. He used to be a superstar. Dallas Keuchel, J.P. Crawford, former Phillies farmhand, and JBJ. Now, of course, on the Milwaukee Brewers. Here we go. Keep it going here. Ryan Weathers, rookie card. He got actually back to mode, former seventh overall pick. Craig Campbell's having a silent, not silently, actually just a really good year. Andrew Heaney, baseball is fun. Looks like game four. Drew Rasmussen. Uh, Alex Cobb, Kevin Kramer, Ty Buttry is out of baseball now. Tommy Lastello, 0-60 to 60 with Jose Abreu, our 2014 Rookie of the Year and last year's MVP. Starlin Castro, George Springer has been hurt most of the year. Dylan Batanz has started the year and then got hurt right away. And Corey Dickerson. Love putting together the entire flagship set each year. Series 2, always a big part of it. Championship Fireworks, Brendan Rodgers, Alejandro Kirk rookie card, nice name there. Gregory Polanco, El Café, the Cleveland Indians, Ryan Pes Presley, uh, Jared Dyson, David Price, Edwin Rios, Keston Hira has been terrible this year. There's that Lamette. We got the Golden, Jose Iglesias, Jason Castro, and Adam Duvall now on the Miami Marlins. Series 2, of course, has had some really good names over the past year. That was like 2019 was huge with Tatis. Uh, for should be another Rainbow Boyer. Last year we had Luis Robert. We got the Mariners, the Red Sox, the A's, the Blue Jays, Jonah Heim rookie card. We're still missing a lot of the big names. I know Key Bryan, no Jazz, no Krilov yet. Mitch Garver, Andre Scrub, A. Eugenio Suarez. Mitch Garver, we just saw him, is our Rainbow Foil. Nice Christian Pache here. So at least we've got some solid names for our, like I said, he's had a really poor year. Obviously, defensive first outfielder. What year is this? This is 1970 something. 1980. So, oh, it's the Ricky Henderson rookie card. I should have known that. Classic Ricky Henderson card on that. I don't know if there's any other big names from that other than Henderson. Jacob Stallings, Justin Upton, Mike Talkman is now on the Giants. Robin home run and Devin Williams. Last year's NL Rookie of the Year. Houston Astros, G-Man Choi, Matt Barnes, Alex Young, Jorge Soler is having a poor year. Tyler O'Neill is having a great year. Edwin Encarnacion, Dakota Hudson, Christian Vasquez, and this must be a short print. Babe Ruth. Pretty cool. Card 449. That is a code 41. So I'm not sure if that's just a regular short print, super short print. I know the Mickey Mantle is like the super, super, super short print. But uh, Babe Ruth, really obviously solid name for the history of baseball. We'll have to check the odds on that one. I'll throw the odds, the comp value, and what kind of SSP or SP that is in the bottom here. Jordan Montgomery, Jose Ramirez, Shinsu 2, and Rymel Tapia is having a fantastic hit streak. And the Rockies have been hot in the past week over the Padres and Brewers. But, um... I was gonna get a short print. I never got one from Series One, so that could be a massive hit right now. And oh, yeah, nice green ice. Could be a massive hit, and I'm not reacting as such. It also could be not much of a hit, but you'll find out. You'll know already. We got the Phillies, the Cubs, Ryan O'Hearn, Brexton Garrett, another former seventh overall pick. Uh, Vinny Velo, Marcel Ozuna. Don't want to talk about him. Adam Hazley's taking a mental health break. Michael Chavis, he's up and down. French Cordero now in the Red Sox. And we got the 2017 MVP in a green ice. Jose Altuve, you can put an asterisk next to that MVP if you want, of course, out of 499. 197 out of 499. At least be good to get a, in quotes, established star. Nick Solak, Brian Anderson, Braylon Marquez, and Jed Jerko. Keep it going here. We got Corey Kluber, shopping cart, uh, surf. Like Michael Chavis in the cart there. Tunnel time, as they call it in Boston now. Love that celebration. Rio Wees, Senzi, Tom Hatch, former Cub farmhand, Willie Castro, Thor, Noah Syndergaard. Hope to see him back soon. Steve Sijex from Massachusetts. Carlos Martinez, Sandy Alcantara. There we go. Nice jazz chisel. Very nice there. Good to get another one of the major rookies. Corbin Burns, uh, Luis Alexander Basabi, originally a Red Sox, and Alex Avila. Love Luis Alexander Basabi. Remember seeing him back as a little spinner in 2015. Got traded to the White Sox for Chris Sale and has now made his major league debut with the Giants. We got Keone Kella, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Angels, Andrelton Simmons, Michael Fulmer, Yohan Mankata, Tom Murphy, Shogo Akiyama, Mike Zanino. We got our first platinum players of A-Rod. 
Very nice. A rod, of course, the die cut for the 70 years. This pile is starting to get massive of the base. Probably shouldn't have put it right there. Brother Wilson William Contreras rookie card. Saw his autograph on opening day. Trevor Story, Young Jin Ryu, and the 84, $184 million man in the south side of Chicago, Jason Hayward. Looks like we got a foil and a 1986 here. Nice, Alex Kriloff rookie card right off the top. Now we just need to get Key Brian. That's the big one. Jeff Mathis, Carl Edwards. There it is. Let's go. Key Brian Hayes. We got all the massive rookie cards. I'd like to see Trevor Rogers, like I said, but he's just a pitcher, so not a huge deal if you don't get him. Kramer Valdez, Dustin May, Daniel Bard, Ken Giles, Tanner Roark's our Rainbow Foil, and Matt Olson having a really good year. Unfortunately, Vladdy's been so much better, so he's going to be the all star first baseman. Here's our 1986 Garrett Crochet, solid lefty with the 100 mile per hour fastball for the White Sox. Kyle Hendricks, Alex Dickerson, and Dwight Smith Jr., former Fisher Cat, former Oriole. Would love if one of our parallels was a rookie. So far, have struck out on that front. Um, Alex Wood had a terrible start Saturday for the Giants. Ryan Zimmerman, Josh Hader, Kutch is starting to heat up a little more. James McCann, Austin Romine, Adam Eaton, Nicky Lopez, Adrian Morihan, Miguel Sano, Austin Slater, Chris Sales coming back soon, Will Myers, and Trey Mancini. Sorry that pack was mostly upside down. I was waiting for it to turn, and it never did. Looks like we got another insert of some sort in here, one of those all-star cards. Walker Bueller, the San Diego Padres, Esteban Floreal rookie card, even though he's only been up for like two games. Uh, Rafael Montero, Daz Cameron, son of Mike Cameron. Very nice. Uh, Luis Urias, Jose Garcia, like I said in my Diamond Kings video, now goes by Jose Barrero. Chad Wallach, Sam Huff rookie card. That might be a short print. Um, the photo's a little different. No, it's not. It's just a base rookie card. I figured we've not since we already got a short print, but always when it's the card before the insert, you always kind of question a little. There's Yadier for our all-star card. Joe Musgrove, Christian Walker, Ramon Laureano always has some pretty sweet images on his card. And I believe Jared Walsh was that last one. Keep it going here. Maybe a home run challenge card, I believe. Sugar, Edwin Diaz. Gloves are hats for the Jays. Zach Plezak, nephew of Dan. Kike Hernandez, Josh Naylor, Jose Leclerc, Tucker Davidson, uh, Tucker Barnhart, sorry. Tyler Glass now, Greg Holland. Cody Bellinger is our home run challenge card. I'll be sure to take my stab at that one. Like I got a successful Jordan back in April. Eric Cosmer, Nick Markakis, Kevin Newman, and Carson Kelly. Three packs left. Maybe we can get a really sweet parallel. Hopefully we can at least see Trevor Rogers got Nady Ovaldi on the back. Looks like a 1975 card in here. Garrett Cooper, Brett Phillips doing his airplane pose. Jeff Samarja holding me back. Bro is the Orioles. Fish out of water is the Marlins. Zach Gallon, Ryan Braun, Michael Pineda. There's the nice Trevor Rogers rookie card. So we got the five I wanted. And here's a sweet Jordan. 1975 design, very nice, iconic design right there. Love the 75s, their heritage will be three years down the road. Road, JT Real Muto, Chris Bryant, Clint Frazier, and Nate Yavaldi. All right, last three packs, or last three, last two packs. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like we have another, ooh, we got something backwards. Eddie Rosario, picture time, Hunzer Alberto, uh, home run handoff. James Karinchak, Schwarbs, Yusei Kikuchi, Xander's having a great year. Trevor Rosenthal, we got a card number out of 299, 0 to 60, Luke Voigt. So that's going to be a black parallel. Pretty nice. Always good to get a parallel. Luke Voigt is rehabbing right now with Somerset. Could be back soon. Marcus Stroman, Delano Shields, Isaiah Kiner, Falefa's having a good year, and Victor Reyes. Luke Voigt, um, Yankees need help at first base, so he better come back from rehab fast. And I'm not sure there's much in this last pack. Kwon Young Kim, Southside Stretch, Giancarlo Stanton, Framel Reyes, Isan Diaz, Enoli Paredes, Enoli Canoli, Anthony Rendon, James Paxton, Dave Peralta. Hey, we're going to end it with a gold at least. We've got our second one of that. Unfortunately, not a rookie, but Big Mike. Michael Pineda has been around a while between the Mariners, the Yankees, and so on now with the Twins the last couple years. Brandon Belt, Herman Marquez, Taiwan Walker is having a fantastic year with the Met and Zach Granke. So we got this entire stack of base here. We got a good assortment of rookie cards here. Gonna make sure to sleeve all those ones up. You never know who's gonna become the next future star. We got four Phillies in there, which is what I'm looking forward to the most. Here's our better rookie card names. Uh, Trevor Rogers, Key Brian Hayes, Alex Kriloff, Jazz Chisholm, Jake Cronenworth. In my opinion, those are the best five rookie cards in the class. But of course, you never know, and we'll see what happens. Key Brian is definitely my favorite of the group. Bunch of other sweet inserts, Jordan, um, Christian Pache, Joey Bart, 
Tatis and Corona work. Nothing massive. I think I will put the Tatis up the front. Definitely my favorite. Love the seven years of top, some iconic designs, and I was good to get. Fernando, our hit was this Ian Anderson relic. Not too much going on there. Out of 299, we got this Luke Voigt. Other parallels included a couple golds, Pineda and uh, Lamette. So we got a couple rainbow foils. We got Altuve out of 499 and Giancarlo out of 150. Very nice there. Zero to 60, Luke Voigt out of 255. And the final card, could be my best card, most likely is my best card, just because there was nothing else massive. It is a Babe Ruth short print, so we'll see what that goes for. That'll do it for now. That's all Series 2 I have right now. Hopefully I can find some stuff because in retail, because like I said, I want to get those 1965 cards. I love the 1965 design. Nothing too massive here. That's what a Series 2 hobby box is. Obviously, I'm just trying to build my base set, have fun, get some sweet inserts, maybe get a good hit. Of course, we didn't get it to here. At least it was a rookie card for our relic, but... Yep, that'll do it for now. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Keep following for more great content. We got some more Bowman coming up on the channel. Some score football. I know it's not the most exciting stuff, but uh, Stadium Club, I believe, comes out this week. So that's something to look forward to as well. Love Stadium Club every single year. Make sure to follow my Instagram and my TikTok down in that description box below for extended content. Thank you, and I look forward to the next time.